Yon! Hey, what's up everybody? And good evening! Hi, hi, quick shout outs before we officially begin. Um, to the first viewer, um, Sir Vaughn, shout out to you. And Mary, shout out. Hey, right, what's up, what's up everyone? Good evening. It's been a while since I've last been live here on Facebook or YouTube. It's great to be back. It's probably been a month and a half for me. And yo, I'm just really excited for today because it's not just an ordinary live or, or live charting session. I'm finally, or we're finally together with my co-host uh, tonight. We're going to be able to use the new right upgraded platform, Investagrams, right, and showcase it to the community tonight. And I'm especially excited because I get to share the stream, the stage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with, of course, uh, the co-founder and CEO of Investor, which I'll be calling on to the stream right now, Boss JC Bisnar. Hi, JC. Good evening. Hello, hello, pal. Hey, man. What's up? Good evening to everyone. I'm excited to share our new features for Investagrams tonight. Yep, I'm excited as well. So to everyone... Um, just a quick reminder, later at the end of the stream, I'll be giving away a few prizes to our live viewers. So all you have to do is react to the stream, share the stream, and tag three friends to win at the end. And make sure you're watching until the end. So, all right. so maybe, um, JC, before we dive deep into the new capabilities and features of the platform, um, I'd like to ask you, um, this this project is something uh, we have been working on uh, for months and we didn't tease it until we were about to launch it. No one knew about it. Really, our entire team worked really hard on it on, on the back end side right? Um, to, to deliver this to the community. So I'm sure a lot of people may also be curious, what was the motivation or the, the inspiration behind doing something as, as big as this, as a full platform revamp of Investagrams. Yeah, okay. So if you look at uh, the previous Investagrams, it's kind of outdated already. Like the first thing that you see there is the social platform. But then if you reflect on it, uh, we discussed as a team, it's not really the first thing that an investor or trader needs. So we revamp the whole platform mm -hmm. to cater and to give a better experience to, to investors. So what we wanted to achieve was in, in one view, in one platform, you're going to see a snapshot of all the vital information that's going to help you make a better decision in your investments or trading. And at the same time, you may be wondering, why the hell are these two speaking in English? So it's a pra it's practice for us because uh, with this thrust, we're trying to give out more value for the global community. So... In the past three years, uh, the, the market has evolved strongly and, and tons of assets have come out. Some risky, some have given us good rewards. A lot of them have crashed. So I'm, I'm referring mostly to about cryptocurrencies. So we want to cater to global opportunities, not just on the local side. So that's one of the inspirations of making a revamp. And at the same time, if you look at the platform, uh, the the la the feel the vibe was really old i think it started when air air was the core developer so it was our cto he single-handedly built the the old website on his own we didn't have designers back then we, di we didn't have too much capital back then so so that's why we have to evolve now and i hope that the audience likes it there we go great yeah i, I i'm sure the community has enjoyed hopefully Right, um, what what we what we've begun, and if you guys think this is the end, this is it. Um, well, it's just the beginning. So I think this is a great way. This is a great time to to segue JC to starting to show the community how they can use the features, how they can use the platform to navigate um, throughout today's market. So I yeah. shall allow you to share your screen, and maybe we can we can start maybe first with a with a multi market track with the uh, multi market tracker how uh, the community can use this in their trading yeah okay so fun fact uh before we start uh the whole team 
I think we worked on the project for just around uh, one month in terms of the, the initial design and code, and then another month for the finalizing and deployment. It's not yet perfect, but for a, such a big revamp, we just spent around two months for this. So it was, uh, I think it was a good achievement for the team. So now let's look at the features, okay? So this is the first thing that you see in Investigrams. And one thing that you will notice, or you may not have noticed, is you can now look at Investigrams, the tools inside, the data, without logging in. So we wanted to make the platform more, more open and accessible to everyone. So without logging in, you can see the same table, the new summaries here. And then if you want to access the deeper features, then that's where the platform will, will prompt you to log in. Now, OK, first things first, uh, you can see here that we're catering to three main markets, crypto, US, and the Philippines. Then what do we see in our easy view table here? Um, when an investor first opens the app, they want to see which stocks or coins are interesting. So mainly that's the top gainers, top losers, or which ones have the most volume traded. Okay, so if we try to look at the crypto market, I've been seeing this coin burger for quite some time, like for the past week. So it says here that he's the top gainer. So we can check the burger stock, uh, burger coin. <laughs> okay. Then if you want to view the full chart, you can just click here. All right. So then you can scan the market easily. And what's good is this updates real time. Okay. Now, if you want to find the top uh, value traded coins or assets, you can go to the most active tab, then just go here. Right. So what, what we see in the market right now in crypto, uh, tons of inf influencers have been very fearful. Like if you go to YouTube, Facebook, a lot of people are talking about uh, the end or doomsday and i think if you look at most charts and we're going to use our prime tools later on we're going to see that the market is actually stabilizing to the point that there may be trading opportunities already okay and now the the, the table here we 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 made the change that i think will help a lot of investors so the basic thing is you sort out your coins using the price right so you want to see the top gainers here or the top losers so you can sort them out easily but then we also created a new thing where we see the coins or assets that have the change the top change in volume so here you can sort out the whole list and see that a hey, vtho had a 750 percent volume change compared to yesterday and we see burger having a 400 percent increase so volume is such an important component of trading and investing. And besides the price movement, so, okay, one thing is seeing a stock or asset uh, have a good trend. But the other thing is, do they have the volume to back it up, right? So now you can sort the market easily here. Now it's applicable to cross markets, the USA. If we look at the US, see here that Tesla is the most active stock. In terms of volume, we see, oh, okay, Eve, Sofo. I'm not too familiar with these stocks. So it's a good way as well. Since we're now trading the global markets, there, there are thousands of assets. It's now a good way to filter and scan because you can't really, you can't really do everything manually in terms of research. So finding these strong movers or interesting names will allow you to pinpoint. And then that's where you can supplement with, with your due diligence. Okay, and then Philippines. Let's see the Philippines. See the top gainers here. We see some microchip companies, Ion, IMI, SSP moving, right? So in just one view, we could easily see what, what the theme in the market is. All right. So that's the that's the first thing. And I think this already answers for most technical traders or even um, regular investors, this already answers. Uh, probably one half of the question, the daily question that you ask when you want to monitor the markets. Uh, which stocks or coins are moving high? Which ones are the most active? And then you can sort them out and then go at them one by one. Okay, so I give it now to you, Pao, and discuss the next feature.
Thanks, JC. And if I can just add to the multi market tracker, I think what, what's really great about it is it really helps not, not only retail traders, of course, including the full time traders and the professional traders, but definitely retail traders who, who trade multiple years that having a full time job, having to trade the current markets that are available here, crypto, US, and Philippines. And it's extremely difficult having multiple tabs open, having multiple platforms open to, to, to try and monitor everything. Just having everything there in one view definitely takes the friction out of everything, right? So yes, um, moving forward from that, the next feature that, that we included is a created news um, and thread. So if you, if you continue to scroll down, JC, take a look at the news, the join discussion, and the, and the featured threads at the bottom. So me personally, I have met and talked to a lot of old veteran traders who have been in the markets for so long, right? And one of the, com the common themes that they would share to me is back in the day, it's so hard to find information, right? Whether about the global economy, about specific markets, or learning resources. They would always say it's only a handful of books like Reminiscences of a Stock Operator or How to Make Money in Stocks that were available back then. And you, if you're lucky to have a mentor, it would m mostly be your own experience. Nowadays, which is, it's kind of a good problem to have, but it's totally 180. Now we have an abundance of information, stuff that used to be only available to professionals in the industry of investing and trading can now be available if you simply search on, online, right? And besides the abundance of information, there's also an abundance of educational material. Right? And there's so much noise out there locally, globally, and especially in trading, we, we wanted to be able to filter all that out, right? So if you scroll back up to the news section, JC, what we're doing here is now in the news, you'll be able to see in the, in the homepage the relevant news about what's happening in the markets. Um, right now, it's only for the Philippines, but um, future developments would be, maybe we, we would include global markets as well. Like, of course, the US crypto maybe in the coming couple of weeks. That's something the team is working on as well. And if, and now it's only in the home page but something that may that will happen in the future is once you search right maybe a, a, spe a specific stock or a specific token new specific articles and headlines who, that are relevant to that market or to that stock uh, would come out so um basically you go back again uh to the home page and then yeah. below that i think that's that that's really interesting is um also the feature there that first the joint discussion sorry um this way you can interact with a uh, different people different investors in the platform you can easily access here the top posts and if you go down to the featured thread so one great um avenue to to get uh education material right now is fintwit right that's something that really boomed in in 2020 and there are a lot of people posting great content there but what we did is we filtered it and we're constantly updating this to give you guys timeless twitter threads right because sometimes twitter threads you can find the most value there nowadays timeless twitter threads and of course relevant Twitter threads, right? That um, can help you in your trading. For example, US inflation hit 40 year high. Macro after the post on that, he's a great follow. Raul Pal did a, did a post on the state of the US economy, which is a great follow also. He's the founder of Real Vision and um, ex Goldman Sachs executive. And then, yeah, there's just a lot more threads, right? From Richard Moglin, another great follow. And hopefully, you guys can check that out. And of course, our blog, Investor Daily, you can also access that really quickly here. So that's that's that for the created news and thread sides. And I don't know, JC, if you want to add anything here, if not, we can actually proceed to showing the community the Investa Prime dashboard. Hello, hello, okay. Yeah, so so yeah, right now, uh, this is just the version one and we're next week or so, I think we're gonna have more upgrades here. So our goal is uh, to make life easy for, for our fellow investors and traders. Uh, to the point that when you're searching for a stock or you're monitoring a stock or like the crypto market as a whole or the US US economy, you're going to be able to see all the crucial information or the news sources in one view. So that, that's the, the initial goal for this uh, news curation part. Okay. And then we also recognize that there are tons of valuable information in, in other platforms and other uh, resource uh, other sources so we curated them here in the future feature threads okay and then we have our own here the blog investor daily so we have our articles here that, that would give you relevant lessons 
Okay, now let's go to the next, to the, the, the more powerful features. So if you're the serious type of trader and you wanna you wanna really power up your, your trading experience, we we leveled up the Prime dashboard because previously Investor Prime had a lot of features, but then it wasn't that organized or coherent. Like even even honestly, even I, as one of the founders of Investagrams. Uh, I, I wasn't able to maximize most of the features. So I was only using a few like the screener or the alerts from time to time. So we decided to power up the whole thing to make it more valuable and helpful to the traders to the point that if, if you're making a trading decision, the, the these information can really impact that decision, can really help. Okay. So first is uh, market health. Uh, Pao, you want to run through this? Yeah. So like JC said, everything's organized in one dashboard. So the market health meter, um, <clears throat> it, it's kind of similar to an indicator that's used in the US. Um, I think it's called the, it, it's something that, that measures, I forgot the exact indicator, but it's something that measures the amount of stocks that make new highs relative to amount of stocks that make new lows. And if more stocks makes new highs, that means the market is good. So the market health meter, as the name shows, gives you a touch point on how the market is in one glance, in multiple markets. So you can shift through it. You can look at the Philippines. You can look at the U.S. You can, you can look at crypto. Maybe, JC, you can put it in the crypto side. And you can also shift through different time frames. You can go short term. You can go medium term. And you can go um, long term as well. So how do you... Kind of analyze right how, how to use the market health meter well the, the kind of way i use it is okay i'm look i'm looking at the short term the short term market health and it shows me right it's not just random data it's the actual performance of the assets part of that market right and it's showing me okay 300 assets are bullish right are making rallies but only 46 are probably consolidating or in the bearish side so that shows me okay in the short term, the market's good, right? Although it may be hitting a resistance point, but if and if we look at the medium term, right? Um, market health meter for crypto show me okay, it's kind of 50-50. You know, I, I may have to wait for certain consolidations in a bigger picture time frame. But if stocks or if tokens break out, we have a probably a big runway for, for more gains, right? So this is something that's definitely helpful for those maybe with full-time jobs who just want to quickly look, okay, how's the market doing without having to go through all the indices in the different markets, looking at different time frames. With this, just looking at it, you know, okay, long term, we may be in a we may be bearish for crypto because a lot are still long-term downturns. But if you look at the short term, okay, there are possible rallies that we can take part in and take advantage of as traders. So that's kind of how I use the market health meter. And that's how you guys can use it as well. Yeah, okay. So I'd like to add on that. Um uh, so you're going to see here that, okay, in the short term, the system says that 86% or we're very bullish in the short term in crypto. So why is that? Can we really rely on that metric, on this information? So let's check out the main coins, right? Okay, so let's go ETH. You can see here that, okay, is ETH really short term bullish? So if you look at the chart, we've made... A base here bottoming base coming from all the fear all the bad news re recession fears inflation and then it made a breakout point and then now it's doing a tight consolidation so actually if you're a short-term trader you know a lot of us would be looking at this setup it's a, it's a consolidation at the high of the base and probably would have another breakout if it succeeds okay then let's take a look at other main coins btc same concept consolidated it, and it's now hovering trying to move out of its base then matic same thing right solana same thing so i guess we see here that re relative to the other main coins eth looks like it's the one leading right now right but mainly most of them are correlated or have the same structures so yeah so the system is able to detect that if if you're going to base it on what the market health is saying to us right so it's very bullish right now it's because if we are it's because the system has scanned the whole market and has identified that hey there are tons of setups in the short term okay 
But now, if you look at the medium term or let's say long term, it's still very bearish. So it gives you a perspective that, okay, uh, this is just for quickie opportunities, right? I'm not going to stick here and say that, I mean, I'm not going to go complacent right now and put in 10 million blindly into a coin and think that, hey, Doge coin is going to go to the moon or something like that. We're just here for, we're just here for the short-term opportunities and if the setups are valid. Okay, so example ETH. So we get the short-term consolidation here. It's quite strong right now. But then we got more resistance here in the 2000 or 22 level, right? And if you look at the big picture, we're still very far from becoming really bullish, right? So we're we're still in the, the initial bounce or recovery phase. So you can't be too complacent at this point. So again, the, the market health would reflect that. So instead of just relying on your own eyesight or your own analysis, you can also use this as a supplement, okay? And now the next part that I'd like to discuss is the market signals. So if you look at the dashboard, first is the market health because as a trader and investor, you have to know the environment that you're playing in, right? So all of these timeframes, these tools, they tell you, is the, is the environment good to play ball in? right can you really put in money here can you really can you really identify the trend is it bullish or do you focus on shorting right so once we know the the environment the the playing field that's where we can focus on the singular coins or stocks that we want to trade the potential setups right so most of the we go back to the core of of technical analysis or trading so mainly it's about um, mainly traders look for breakouts breakdowns if you're shorting and then volume spikes so these are the core components and later on we're going to add more to this more indicators more setups but for now we focus on the most important ones so now breakouts let's take a look so what the system does is it gives you real-time updates if you're a prime subscriber it gives you a real-time update of when a new coin or stock comes in and gets an interesting price action, a breakout, depending on the time frame that you're looking at. Okay, so let's take a look. So short term, YFI. Let's check this stock. Let's check this coin out. YFI. So is it really a breakout? So yeah. So even if you don't know anything about the universe, right? If there are tons of assets to scan, but then, but then the system already is telling you which ones are potentially moving. So I think for crypto enthusiasts, YFI has, uh, I'm not sure about the fundamentals, but my friend mentioned this name to me and that it was one of the th the coins that uh, she was researching on. So I think this has potential. You're going to see here that we have a short-term breakout and then a bigger resistance here. So in the next two to three days, this is going to be an interesting coin to monitor, right? Okay, then hard. What a funny name. <laughs> Didn't know there was a coin named Hard Hard Protocol. Okay, so let's take a look. We see a min, mini breakout here, not yet too too definite, right? But it's still inching out. So as a short term trader, it's interesting to monitor and spot these setups. And then, if you want to use fundamentals, if you want to research more about the coin or the stock, then you can do your further research on it. Okay, Gal, let's take a look at Gal. So Gal, okay, there's a long, there's a, it already made a base and now it's a higher low potential setup starting to break out as well. So kind of looks like ETH a bit, but of course this would be more speculative, right? So again, uh, the system will give you these signals real time. And if you look at the columns here, we specify the breakout points the exact price where the breakout was triggered, first triggered, and then we compare that with the current price. So this way, you're going to be able to track as well, is this signal doing good, right? We, we just don't give, we just don't want to give you the signal and then not be transparent about what the results are, okay? So we're going to see here that, okay, YFI, it hasn't moved too much yet on the breakout point, then GAL still below, 
But then Hard has already moved 0.80%. And then VTHO has moved 11% from the breakout signal. So let's check that out. VTHO. Okay, so yeah. Signal probably triggered around this area. And then we see the gain here, right? So just a caveat, of course, the, the these signals would have to fit in your risk profile and strategy as a trader or investor. It's not, it doesn't mean that, hey, you get a breakout signal. It's a sure thing. That's why we show the, the percentage change from the breakout to show you the reality that uh, trading is a probability games out of, out of 20 coins. Not everyone would succeed, right? So you have to focus on the highest quality ones. Okay. Now, Breakdown, uh, I think we're fixing this yet on the, the crypto side. But then let's take a look at the volume spikes. So the volume spike basically tells you which coins or stocks have a sudden surge in volume. So besides the price movement, volume is also, also gives you a clue on which names would, would have great potential. So let's take a look at the, the recent results. Loka. Yeah, so we see a volume surge here, right? So we can see that the volume is around 2x the usual volume. Yeah, so so it's a good FYI. League of Kingdoms. So I think this is a game. R&DR. And then YFII. So we see YFII. Is this related to the first YFI? I think so. Yeah, so this is YFII. There's a volume surge here as well, but then doesn't look too good right now because it's on a red long wick candle, right? And then VTHO. So this is one of the top gainers, uh, top, top breakouts a while ago. And it also had a volume surge. So the good thing here is if you only trade price, right? If you don't have considerations on supply and demand or volume, you're probably going to be a bit lost or you're going to encounter lots of low quality trades or fake outs. So using the volume spike as another filter or uh, as another clue would add up to your probabilities and, and make you focus on the trades that have more money flowing to them. And, and if you see good price action with good volume, that means that there's re real weight on the movement. There's real money pushing the price. It's not just uh, sheer luck. All right, so that's the volume spikes. And, and then you could use the filters. Uh, you can use the market signals for cross-market, right? So let's take a look at USA, BZH. BZH. So I think we had a short-term breakout here. Let's, let's take a look at the price. BZH, the price is 14.33. So it triggered around this point, yeah. And then it's continuing, okay? But it's only a short-term breakout because if you look at the structure, it still hasn't gone above its main resistance here, right? So that's something you have to take note of in short-term opportunities. But then let's take a look at medium-term opportunities. So let's take a look at crypto. Me uh, how about long-term? Oh, wait. Okay. So if you go at the bigger time frame, long term, long term breakouts in crypto, there are only two results. So this is a big shift from the usual traders who are looking for merely short term opportunities. If if you're looking on the bigger picture, at the bigger picture, then the, the trades are lessened, but we may have more high probability setups because these are the more major moves. So let's take a look at Burger. Is this really a major breakout? Yeah. So this is quite volatile, right? But I think we have a major break point here, but then now it's trying to stabilize on the lows and trying to make a new high. But then this is quite a volatile name or speculative name, but it's a good FYI. Okay, so it's not yet. It hasn't. I think the real trigger here is if it sustains above three. Okay. 
Oh, hang on. Sorry. I think burger, we identified it at 1.54. Okay. So looking at 1.54, where was it here? It's at this point. So the system actually identified burger before its 2x run. So 1.54 around this major breakout, and then it doubled in price. And now it corrected, but but if you were fast here, seeing the major move, then you got a 2x trade. Not bad. Let's take a look at the other result, bond. Boom. So let's see how fast the system identifies th these trades. Bond, 8.15. So... So our market signal was able to identify the major breakout at this point, right? 8.15. And it gave, and it's now trading at 22. So that's around 3x almost. Not bad. So again, this is what, I, this is what I've been saying that uh, for, for long-term signals, they don't come often, but, but if they come in with good price structure and then good volume, then it can make you a bagger trade. Right. And then of course we're not just we're not just looking at the, the positive trades, we're also looking at potential breakdowns. All right. So example in the USA, you want to see which stocks are breaking down. If if your specialty is uh shorting, so for, for newbies here, shorting is just the opposite of the buying low, selling high. Shorting is your like borrowing assets, but you're selling it first, selling high and then buying back low. So you gain profit if the asset goes down. Okay, so looking at breakdowns, we got first, we got some interesting results here. Snap. So Snapchat, I think. So snap. So we see this is a high volume gap down breakdown. Right? So major breakdown. I think this is a new low. It's a new all-time low. Oh, no, it's not an all-time low, but it's a multi-year low. It's a two-year plus low with very high high volume. So interesting. So now if, if I was a trader, I'd be researching why the heck is Snap going down, right? And perhaps there's a loss of users, uh, tons of competition from TikTok. The, the app is not relevant anymore. Then perhaps this can... Uh, Perhaps this can have a bigger shorting opportunity. Looking at the bigger picture, the all-time low is around 4.93, right? We have more room to go down. So it depends on your style. If you want to short immediately or you want to wait for a, a rally, if you want to wait for a bounce, if it bounces, and then establish a short position on the downtrend. So that's snap. All right? So you're going to be notified on these setups as well, GME. 68%. Okay. So I think that's the signal part of the platform. So th we're still continuously working on this. So bear with us. But I think this is already useful. So in the Philippines, for Philippine traders, uh, let, what, what are the interesting names in the, the short term? So breakouts. I'm going to see here that we get the breakout signal for ION, SSP, and tech warrants. So ION, there. Then where did the system identify the breakout? 0.75. So it's doing 0.83 now. That means if we follow the system, we're early on this. At the, at the, at the immediate start of the breakout point, we're, we are already getting a signal. And then this is also a high volume trade, right? So I'm not sure, probably... There, there's uh, microchip prices are going high. I haven't really looked at the fundamentals yet, but it's good that we're able to pinpoint the interest and the price action and volume here. SSP is the same thing. It's also related. So we've rallied a lot from the lows, 160 coming from 90 cents. Okay. So now you just have to assess, look at the bigger picture. Is this trade fitting to your overall style? What's the fundamentals on this? Are they growing or declining in earnings? What's the core product? So these are the things that you have to ask yourself. So that's it for the Philippines. Let's take a look at long-term breakouts. So we see we have ION, SEC. So I think among 
among all the the blue chip stocks or the the big cap stocks in the Philippines, Semirara is one of the most resilient and strongest. So let's see where we get the the breakout point here. Thirty seven. I think this is thirty seven here. So we we see the the breakout from the base here. So the system identified that, and then now it's doing forty. So for more conservative traders, you you can choose these kinds of names, the, the ones that have liquidity or better fundamentals or bigger market caps. All right. So I think that's that's the discussion of the market signals. Pau, are you going to add uh, points here? Um, well, the way you discussed it is also the use case of how I use it as well. Usually my routine is once I do my charting, usually in the morning at around um, 8 a.m., Part of my charting is going through the recent sig market signals, recent market breakouts that I can see in the crypto markets, and that's what I'm primarily trading. So after you go through my usual watch list, I, I, I would go on the short-term breakouts and just go through all the breakouts that happened um, from the time I was asleep to the time that I started charting. And I, I've, I've encountered over the past two, three weeks, maybe two or three trades that I was able to take because the, the, the system was able to signal that, okay, this this specific token has, has broken out yeah cool so it's good to know that you're able to use it for real money man to make real money so actually you can see here besides sec one of the the small cap names that have been strong recently that's coming out in my own filters as well as abba so you can see abba here we we print a signal at 156 two days ago then it's now doing 191 wow 156 two days ago wait sorry i think the, the 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 time of signal is not too updated here so we have to work on that but then the the price point is accurate i'm gonna see here that on the major breakout the system was able to identify this trade so that's a long-term major breakout uh, let's just look at some short-term or mid medium-term opportunities tech ion so it's the same thing cts so kudos to our friends in citysec yeah, so I think these are the main names in the Philippines. Not too much right now. So let's try to look at the market health for the Philippines. We're around the neutral area. So we're not yet super bullish, but but we're holding ground. So there are some stocks that are trying to fight their way through. So let's take a look at the index, if it's really reflective, right? Okay, so we can see here that from the lows near the six one area we're stabilizing yeah so it, the the market health meter is correct it's saying that okay it's not too bullish right now but it's not too bad as well so if if the system tells us a metric like this gives us this number then it's basically sideways or we want to monitor it up to the point that it starts becoming bullish Okay, so let's compare it to USA. In the short term, it's slightly bullish. Let's take a look at SPX. Slightly bullish. We see here that 2,000 assets are bullish versus 900 assets in, in the global market in the US. So is it more bullish than the Philippines? Yep, because we print a higher low here. We get a breakout, mini breakout here. Yeah, so... It's a bit more bullish than the Philippines because in the PSE, we're just sideways. We made a higher low, but we haven't broken out of the 6.5 level, right? So again, the market health will tell you that. So it's a good supplement for your own analysis. You can go at this hand in hand. Let's take a look at US medium term. Medium term is still neutral, which is true because you can't go suddenly bullish at this point i think we're gonna see more bullish signals if the market would trade above four two four three level right so that's a wait and see game totally depends on our read of the inflation or re recessions recession set environment right now okay so that that's for the health and market signals i hope that you found it useful uh, this is basically an upgrade to the to our uh, loyal subscribers. This is our help to you. And like what Pau said, uh, the, these information would really be able to help you find real trades 
profitable trades and you can monitor the the results here okay so i hope that this helps you uh combat the tough market environment right now and now on the leader side how you want to discuss here yeah maybe i can start before you uh you 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 can just add on to it so um yep. personally for me the, the, i think the time we released <clears throat> excuse me the time we released um the upgrades on the platform was was really on point and because one of the principles i follow in my trading which i learned from mark minervini is um the best time to look for leaders well, it's always a good time but the best time to look for leaders is when the market is declining right or the market is almost at peak pessimism right while while the and that's when you want to try and find leaders who, while the general market is making a lower low, there are specific stocks or coins who are making higher lows. Right? And it's difficult to do that if you, especially if you're busy or retail trader with a full-time job, if you have to do that one by one. Right? But with this table, it shows you, okay, this specific stock, this specific token is stronger relative to the sentiment, relative to the overall market right so uh, kind of when this came out uh, it was uh, it was just on point i was able to use it myself since um three weeks ago maybe that was also i believe that was also the time maybe a maybe a week after we released this when the us printed um their inflation which was at i believe 9.1 percent and the market was at such peak pessimism but everything closed in the green and right after that the market started to rally so if you were keeping an eye now on this leader stable, you would, would have at least caught, right, maybe three, four, or maybe even five names, right, that you were able to purchase because a lot went up right, and took advantage of the rally you were, uh, were in right now. So it, you, maybe you have much more to add to that, uh, JC. Yeah, so we added the, the leader ranking system here as a way to help our fellow traders to really pinpoint which trades do I focus on because – the the experience of a trader i think this is really the the small detail or this the the incremental advantage of the pros versus the the amateurs the average traders because average traders or or most of the people they see a setup they see a guru hyping a, a coin or stock they see a hyped up news or elon musk buys doggy and then 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 you they try to buy buy out that stock right but they don't have an idea putting putting all the assets together which ones are the strongest which ones do i focus on which ones deserve my time my money right so as a trader that's probably one of the most game changing things that that i've prioritized in my 10 year plus um, almost 10 year trading career so finding the leaders will allow you to pinpoint where the big money can potentially go in Right, because you can focus on 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 a trade that example, there are two coins or two companies. The the first one is really the exciting name. It has good price structure, volume structure, it has good fundamentals. The second one, it also has okay price and okay volume. But why would you settle for the top two? Right? You want to focus on the best. Same thing with buying products, buying games buying buying stocks and buying coins you want to focus on the best so now, now let's take a look using the the leader ranking formula that we have here let's take a look if these names are really good so bond yeah it is a leader right relative so how do we say that it is a leader because it has already moved 200 percent right coming from the the initial breakout points while eth Regular coins uh, are just starting to pick, pick off, right? Yeah, so that's why it is the leader right now. So you can see here that we also made a leader score to really, to really pinpoint and show to you that okay, this this coin is really strong. But of course, you have to be disciplined in terms of using this thing because you have to look at the structure is it too late to come into this right because this filter will only show you the the leadership or or the comparative analysis of a coin or stock compared to their peers but if you look at the exact chart okay 
it's nearing a resistant point is it too late maybe i'll wait for a pullback so you have to be smart you have to be smart on that you have to apply your own strategy and tactics on how to find the best entry point okay so next but then we can look at the names that haven't gone up too high yet so ldo so in, the interesting thing is we don't even sometimes know these names like ldo what the heck is this coin so that's where you have to do additional research but that's the good thing as well because if you keep on sticking on names that you know like okay i want to focus on shib matic solana these are just the mainstream names they're gonna give us uh good enough re returns but sometimes the biggest returns will will come from the names that are under undiscovered the undiscovered gems the low profile gems as long as they have the right potential right management team right platform product and you can see you can you can see investing opportunities as well so what's in ldo i don't know the fundamentals we're not going to cover that but we're we see here major breakout so if it continues goes above 180 to 2 then we may see a major trend the the all-time high is around 290 to 270 270 280 okay so put that in your list let's monitor that in the next few days op so we're running through the results okay so that you know you know whether the system is really reliable giving us reliable results so op optimism yeah you can be optim you can be an optimist in this chart so we see here a good base made a made a good base for a couple of months but now it's breaking out right so next next point is can it sustain above one dollar so btg etc okay let's take a look at etc yeah so etc right it, it made a strong move from 16 to 25 good good enough move and then now it's hovering above the base point above the base point here yeah so the leader the leader ranking system here will allow you to find good trades so now it depends on your tolerance do you wanna do you wanna prioritize the the best the top leaders or do you wanna look at the the starters the the leaders but have not yet moving that have not yet moved so high ens yeah so i think looking at the crypto market a lot of them have the similar setups right so it's just a matter of some of the names like like the the first ones we've discussed have already moved but a lot of the names have made a significant base already so we're at the point where okay the news the influencers are telling us it's bearish but then the price action is actually stabilizing if we see succeeding price action good price action here the next one week then there's going to be a follow up trend on this now let's try to apply the leader system in the US. Okay, so PEI. I don't know what that is. Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust. Chart looks interesting. Yeah. The WMC. Port Gage Capital Corp. <laughs> okay. HNGR hanger big gap up here IS oops this is the Philippines version let's take a look at the iron source IS okay <laughs> so you can see here that why, why are these names considered the leaders right now why is it coming out of the system because if you look at if you look at the the regular names like Tesla they haven't moved too much from their base point right Tesla's Tesla's chart looks interesting same with crypto <laughs> you see a good base here then a breakout so yeah there's gonna be a, a mini follow through for the, these setups then sos sos let's take a look at 
Bank of America Corp. So I'm not sure why this gapped up too high. I think we have to check on our data if this, this is correct. Okay. Yeah, so the, the system finds us the, the top movers, the interesting movers. But then there are tons of stocks in the U.S. And you really have to do deep research once you've pinpointed a trade. So here, Silvergate Capital. I don't know what company this is, but but the system has identified it for us as one of the leaders, SIPA. So we see a good recovery from the low and then high volume progression. And now it's trying to break out the 20 mark. All right. Yeah, so you can explore this for our subscribers. Okay. Pao, you want to add something on this? Maybe I just want to maybe re-emphasize on your point that even if the system does show you the leaders, at the end of the day, you can't just buy it. You still have to, I like what you said, you still have to find the proper entry point based on your strategy and the time frame that you use. Yep, yep. Uh, one one thing is the tools are are the tools that we're offering the the tools that are that you're using but you also have to do your your own tactics and apply your own strategy for your trade yep so i think that's it right we've discussed the whole platform am i right yes sir we, we've gone through all of the newest capabilities and features of the platform so if you don't have anything else to add, we can actually proceed. Maybe some of our viewers in the community has any questions about, about the platform and we'd love to go through them. Yeah, so I think we've run through the, the whole platform, the new features. So I hope that you liked it. And a lot of it really is powering up Investagrams to make it really more useful in your day-to-day -day trading, investing. And yeah, please ask us questions. This is the, the version one of it. So we're going to continuously going to evolve in the coming weeks. We have a lot of features in the pipeline coming up. Yeah, so guys, feel free to to answer, uh, to, to ask any questions. Um, maybe I can ask the first while maybe our audience might be thinking. Uh, I think a lot of curious, JC, how have you been... Uh, how have you been navigating through the markets over, over the past maybe four to eight weeks? Oh, okay. For the markets, I've been mainly on cash for the couple of, yeah, for the, I think, last eight weeks or so. So mainly on cash. It's just recently where you see these base basing out patterns. The It's just recently where I started to deploy again with, with the signals that we get. All right, so we have a question here from Emil. Um, magkakaroon po ba ng journal? Is there going to be a journal uh, for crypto that you can connect to, to Binance or maybe other exchanges? That's that's his question. Yes, yes. We're working on that in the future. It's part of our plans. So we're going to totally revamp the journal right today. Uh, the journal that we have right now, uh, I don't like it too much, honestly. So we're going to be improving on that. A lot. And Enrico asks, do you have a trial period for this feature? Like maybe one month, etc. Yes, sir. So if you're a new user, just explore Investagrams. We have a free trial that you can access. And then we also have the mini trial. You can get a one month mini subscription for a cheaper price. So you can try try those trials. All right, our next question from Poppy. So maybe in regards to how, how we can shift to different time frames, right? In, in our new feature. So how long is short term? Maybe how, how do you identify short term, medium term versus long term? I think that's his, his question. Asking for clarification on that one. Yeah, so we blend uh we blend the time frames depending on the ranges. So short term usually goes five days, ten days, twenty days, right? Anything below that or within that 
Then medium term hovers around the 50-day range, 40-day, 60, 70-day range. And then long term, 100-day and above that is long term. So that, that would give you the general idea. All right. Our next question from, from Joshua. Uh, if we avail of the investor prime, will we have real-time access to U.S. stocks data? Yes, sir. Even if you don't avail of investor prime, the, 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 the U.S. stocks is free real-time. So if you look at Tesla, it's a weekend right now, so you won't see that. But all of our U.S. crypto markets are free. And then I saw one comment. Hey, you should bring out the local market free data. We can't do that because we have a cost for for each data for each user that is availing of real time. So we have a cost. We're actually just charging you guys the cost. So we don't we don't make profit off it. So we basically just passing on the cost. Otherwise, if we make it free, then we're going to go bankrupt and close this whole thing down, right? But for what the other markets that we can offer for free, we're doing that. All right. All right. Maybe we have time for maybe two to three more questions unless you want to take more, JC. But we have a question from Nilo. All right. Um, when will Investa be a trading platform? Yeah. So, so one of the reasons why it took us quite some time to revamp the, the the core Investagram's tools platform is we've been developing a trading a trading platform on the side quietly, but then it's taking some time because approvals, the processes in the local market is not that uh, fast. So we really have to adhere to those requirements to the processes. So we just have to wait on that. So it's on the it's in the works already. So hopefully it'll come this year. And then for the global market, uh, that's another challenge. That's another thing. So we're gonna we're gonna assess how we're gonna build on that. But yeah, that would be a nice nice add on to have in in the Investagram's platform. But for the local stocks, we've worked on that already. It's just a matter of timing and waiting. All right. So maybe I can quickly touch on this one. Um, Todd's asking, um, best broker with the most assets available. Well. Um, there's not one that does PSC crypto US all at the same time, but there are great um, exchanges out there for crypto like Binance and maybe for global markets, someone like XM. Those are really good platforms. And we have a, a question from Rex Ryan. I'm not really sure um, what he may be referring to. The question is, what is discovery? What is the base of discovery? What are the features that are not present in other charting tools? <laughs> Oh, it's this one, yeah, the discovery. The, yeah, the, I, I think he's referring to the discover part here. Well, the the, the the difference here in the discover part, you can use your our pro screeners here. So we have different screeners here if you want to choose. You can customize your own screener here if you want. But then the main feature here is the leader ranking system based on our proprietary formulas that identifies which assets have been leading in the market so this is not available to other markets because of course uh, other platforms because of, of course this is our own formula so we we built it based on our trading experiences our back testing then this has been what i have used mainly to identify solid trades for for my whole career so uh, this is our own formula our own sauce All right, so maybe I'll just go through this question really quick. It's, it's kind of a concern. Um, when are the drafts of the charts gonna go say? I'm not sure if, um, Sir Gilbert, if you can just save the layout after you're charting it so you don't have to redo it. But if that's not the issue, maybe you can PM me directly and I can help you out um, regarding that. All right, so just quickly shifting to the last two questions. Um, good evening, sir. Do you? Still have lifetime access. I think this is um, regarding to the features. Uh, yeah, not not right now. So I think we've we've done the past NFT sales, the past lifetime offerings, and and that those offerings are limited. So not not right now. Maybe in the future, once we've evolved the platform further, we may we may think of uh, lifetime offerings. But for now, it's just the the, the regular subscription. So I saw here a comment: uh, Is there a price increase for the new features? No. So that's our commitment. So I, I, 
one of my one of our pledgers before our early supporters in Investa back in 2018 2018 told us that hey it's sulit mag subscribe so that's our commitment to you guys like we never quit this thing uh that's the, our mindset is to constantly add value constantly evolve constantly provide the help that investors and traders need to succeed and the, all of these new features i think are way way more useful than the previous prime offering if you ask me honestly like if you if the, the this is the the whole list of features in the prime the charts journal pro screener watcher back tests etc all of those are like ah uh, but then if you if you see these add-ons the market health which tells you how healthy the market is right now is it good to come in the market signals which as we've played through a while ago gives us a lot of opportunities medium term long term short term on all markets then volume spikes we see that so i don't see this in in other platforms in other platforms you can set your alerts you can set your screeners but they haven't laid it out for you automatically so that's what we're trying to do because not everyone has their their own strategy not not their own formula so we're bringing that component to you we want to make it easier for you then the leader the leader ranking system so i think this helps a lot and for local traders you can see it here like chp why is this thing the leader so let's take a look at the stock so as, as you can see the the whole the whole philippine market hasn't moved hasn't budged yet but then we see this stock at a high volume almost 50 percent from the lows so it's one of the interesting names that are moving in the market and then abba so even though this is not a famous stock, you can see here that, oh, the whole market is on a sideways downtrend, but then this thing has trended more than 2x from the lows. So again, these, these things, these names are automatically given out real time in this platform. And it's not just speculative names. Again, you can see here SCC, DMC. These are the top coal, coal related names in the country. DMC, good setup here, following SEC because it's the mother company. Yeah, so the, that's the, the power of the new Prime dashboard. And I uh, just want to add, we're, we're working on what's coming out next. So in the next week, in the next week, if you look at the, the markets that we are covering right now, it's crypto, US, Philippines, but then it's going to be five five markets wait I'll, I'll look for the image hang on okay i found it so just to share to you guys okay can you see my screen yes yeah so next week if all goes well in our QA, in our testing, we're implementing Forex and commodities and then improving the data in the platform. So yeah, so our goal is to really cover all the relevant markets, all the relevant opportunities. We're going to bring it here. And then besides that, we're, we're adding more free features that, that are we're, we're going to power up more of our free features in the next updates, in the next one to two weeks. So stay tuned for that. There you go. Everything's really exciting. So I think that's all the time we have for, for the q and I still have a mini segment, mini raffle after this. But JC, before I let you go, um, do you have any final message for the community watching with us here tonight? Yeah. So uh, how many viewers do we have right now? Uh, right now we have around 320 across youtube and facebook okay so thank you for the 300 viewers that spent their sundays sunday evening with us so thank you everyone for watching and i hope that you you liked our platform updates and we're going to continue to work on this and add value and we appreciate we would appreciate your feedback so if you have suggestions if you have you see bugs or comp or other improvements that we can work on so feel free to message or comment and then we're going to work on that and then right now we have to go we have to close out in a bit but 
just reach out to us in Facebook invest or in the Investagrams platform. We can communicate there. And thank you once again for your time. All right, JC, thank you so much. And to the rest of our live viewers, I'm still going to do the, the, the quick raffle. So you guys can, can stay true to everyone who shared the stream. You guys have a chance um, to win one month access to the Investor Prime and two winners of the Investor Merchandise T-shirt. So again, um, JC, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Pao. Thank you, everyone. And a happy Sunday. All right. So I'm back. Yeah, let me let me turn on my camera. So yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, just just reading all, all of the comments, you know, from John. Um, great. So we're all happy that you guys have been enjoying. I don't want to go. We're all happy that you guys have been enjoying, right? Uh, the features and everything. There's something we really worked hard on. Like the team on the back end really worked, worked, worked really hard for this. So yeah, um, so before we end, I'll just do the raffle real quick. We'll have five winners of everyone who shared. So let me just share my screen for that one before we officially end uh, the live. So yeah, I yeah, there we go. I'll just I'll, I'll add my face into it. Oh, wrong button here. So game, I'll just call on the first winner. So off. One month access to the Investor Prime. So you can try out right the features if you're not yet a subscriber. So Bernard Garcia. Um, congratulations, you're our first winner. We're our second winner of one month access to the Investor Prime. Congratulations to how do I pronounce this? That's right, Tanji, Tanji, Tanji Jr. Monteo Darwin. Congrats. And our third winner, congratulations to Leah Roldan. Our three winners of one month access to the Investor Prime. And last two winners of our Investor Merchandise for sharing the live and being with us on your Sunday nights. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Alex Maverick. What's the last name? Alex Maverick. Pabiliaran. Congratulations. And our final winner of an investor t-shirt, our investor merchandise. Congratulations to you. Joey or Lina. What's this? Flores? Joey or Lina Flores. Congratulations. You are our fifth winner. So there we go. Um, let me exit that. That ends our live discussion on our platform updates and our first ever live session of pure straight English. So hopefully you guys still enjoy that and we'll be doing a lot more of these. Definitely. Oh, sir, Tanjil, Tanga, I'm not sure. Oh, then Miss Leia, congratulations on your on your on your prizes. So yeah, just like just to echo what JC said to end everything. Um definitely if you guys have any suggestions or feedback, what you want to see in the future. Everything we do is for our trading community and, of course, to serve many traders, not only in the Philippines, but also globally as well. So really looking forward to what's in store. So, yeah, see you guys in the next one. I'll end it here. Happy Sundays. Happy, um, good luck for the, for the upcoming trading week. God bless. Keep safe. And, you know, um. I don't know what else to say, but yeah, much love to everyone. Thank you for supporting Investigrams as always. All right, good night. And shout out to Miss Joanne Marquez. Shout out to you. All right, good night and God bless.